Hello interwebs and thanks for tuning in to the official Surrender It 20 weekly recap. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be bringing you some of my favorite stories from SurrenderIt20.net for the week of February 3rd, 2013. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. Lunar Revel is upon us, bringing with it new champion skins, new ward skins, new summoner icons, along with the return of the gifting center. Perhaps the best part of the new champion skins is that not only are they not legendary priced, they're only 975 RP, but they are also not limited edition, meaning that you have all the time in the world to add them to your collection. The holiday ward skins are free to use through February 25th and feature a banner as well as lanterns. Also February 25th is the deadline to earn your holiday summoner icons, my favorite being the festive earth icon that you earn for gifting one of the Lunar Revel skins. Recently, Riot has made some subtle yet critical changes to the tribunal, aiming to improve accuracy, to provide voters with more information, and to help identify toxic players faster. Now I'm sure you guys all know that in order to end up on the chopping block of the tribunal, you have to get reported more than once. Previously, Riot used a system that was like random sampling to choose which games end up, ended up in the tribunal for judgment. Now they're using a system that chooses the most impactful games that will go to the tribunal for judgment, meaning games that more people reported that player. Also, previously you could only see one game to judge a player on, and now you can see at least two. Previously, Riot player support reviewed every single case individually before approving pardons or punishments. But due to the overwhelming accuracy of the actions suggested by the tribunal and the rarity in which Riot actually overturned the decision, Riot has decided that they will now only be reviewing cases where it is a, just a slight majority or a split decision. For more information on the changes made to the tribunal or to check it out yourself, refer to the links in the info below. And it looks like it's that time of the video again where I tell you that everything else I talk about today is beta content, meaning that it is highly tentative and subject to change. Thank you for keeping that in mind. It looks like Sona will be getting some new splash art in the near future. Check it out. And here is her current splash art as a comparison. I, for one, am super excited about this. Being that I play Sona a lot, it's very noticeable to me that her like covered boob to uncovered boob ratio is completely off the charts. It's, it's not even realistic. And it's distracting from the rest of her splash art, and I'm not even a heterosexual male. Now don't get me wrong, I like video game boobage as much as the next guy, but Sona's kind of got like a trashy vibe going on to her right now, and Sona's not a trashy lady. Her new splash art is beautiful, and it's tasteful, and it's classy, but it's still like sexy and feminine, and I love it, and I think it really captures who she is. What do you guys think? A couple incomplete skins have popped up on the public beta environment. I, Blitzcrank, and Debonair Jace. Now I'm not sure if Debonair Jace is to uh, celebrate anything, maybe Valentine's Day for the ladies, huh? <laughs> but iBlitz is possibly a celebration of the release of League of Legends on Mac. And of course, I saved the best for last. A new champion is on the horizon, and she hails from Demacia. Sorry, I'm sorry, that's not okay. Her name is Quinn, and she has a pet bird named Valor. Or maybe she is the bird, or maybe she just really likes birds, or maybe she's an ornithologist. I don't know, but there's definitely a bird involved. Let me provide you with a little quote ski from Iron Stylus about Quinn. Ahem. She is a new kind of hero, one of new mind and new method, one who can go where armies cannot reach, where swords cannot clash. You're welcome for that uh, performance. Was, uh, I took theater in college. I really did though. <laughs> Do you guys think that she is the new female AD carry or ice mage that Ezreal teased us about back in December? I kind of doubt that she's the ice mage, and I only say that because don't, don't we already have a bird that does that? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you're excited about Quinn, what role you think she will play, what the heck is the bird? It was my understanding that everyone had heard. Heard what? Brian, don't! And thanks so much for watching the Surrender at 20 Weekly Recap. My name's Panzer. This is just a wig. I still have pink hair. <laughs>
<laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to comment and rate a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check back next Sunday and every Sunday for future Surrender at 20 weekly recaps. I hope you guys are all having a great week. I love you all. You're in my hearts. So I'll see you soon. Bye.